Welcome back guys. So I was poking around Amazon and I kept seeing a lot of these number one bestsellers in the detailing categories. So I picked up the top five to get a professional's view on them and see if they're worth it or if they belong in the trash. And when I say these are bestsellers, I mean they have tens of thousands, if not even hundreds of thousands of reviews, meaning they're likely selling hundreds of thousands, if not millions of these. So the five products I picked up, I picked up a interior vacuum, a pet hair removal, a dust and dirt gel, a window cleaner, a new car scent, and of course, a soap to wash the exterior of your vehicle. So we have one, two, three, four, five interior and one exterior product. Looking at Amazon, the first thing up we have here is this cleaning gel. It's called Pull a Dicky. <laughs> Dirty minds think alike. Has 64,000 reviews, 4.1 out of 5 stars. And let's see, I always go to the most recent reviews. A lot of people said, doesn't work. You know, it just works okay. Some people said, doesn't work at all. Not the miracle I expected based on the reviews everyone's saying. So let's find out. Comes in a sealed container with a expiration date. Two year expiration date is what it looks like. Has an Outlook email address if you, for customer service, call it service mail, made in China. So from what I can tell, people just start sticking it on stuff and it holds onto the dirt. So we have our Nissan Cube that I always like to experiment with. And I like to roll with the windows down. So it does get quite dusty in here. And you can see it's picking up a little bit, but nowhere near like they're making it out to be. So my vents are dusty. It does have a cabin air filter, but again, I roll with the windows down. So I fully expect everything to be dusty carry my dog in the back when I go pick up my daughter from school. Yeah, it's getting some out. There's a there's a cup holder to the left of the steering wheel, left-hand drive vehicle, and sometimes my coffee will spill or something right there. It does happen, and it got in the vent once, so I think that's what is what it's getting there. Don't judge me, guys. I know it's a detailer, detailer's car, but <laughs> it gets dirty and dusty. It's my daily driver. Yeah, I, I don't think this product's worth it. It's, uh, it, it gets some, gets, you know, the very minor stuff, but this is just simple dust here in a crevice and it's not getting it. I tried pushing it really hard, rubbing it. It's just, it's not doing it. So I'll try it around the stereo screen and elsewhere. Yeah, it gets a little bit of it there. I did notice on this black plastic, it leaves sort of a dark stain behind. It does wipe right off but you have to make sure you remove it. Otherwise, I'm sure that will be future discoloration in your plastic. Yeah, I, I would say save your money with this. Not, there's nothing that it's doing that some detail spray and a microfiber towel can't do. It, it, it's really, I don't see the point, especially for the price paid. You can buy a, a nice bottle of detail spray even off the shelf at Walmart, AutoZone, your favorite parts store, whatever, for that kind of price. So on the gear shifter, nothing. Mirror adjustments, nothing. It's just, it, it's like once it gets a little bit of dust on it, then it, it doesn't work at all. So you try folding it uh, over like you would with clay bar, nothing. So yeah, I, I would save your money tried the remaining amount in that little tub for something new for for a new fresh product and yeah it's just it's not getting it save your money next so this is the one i was really looking forward to this is called this works vacuum cleaner 251,000 reviews and it is 29.99 is what i paid for it and the reviews most of them are pretty positive it uh, it has the, the poor reviews. It is in regards to the cable. It's a pretty thin cable 
They do make a cordless version of it, but you know, being an inexpensive product, I wouldn't want something with batteries like this, especially here in Texas where it's gonna sit in your vehicle, in the car, not a great idea. So I, that's why I went with this one. People said, yeah, the, the cord gets hot, the plug melted in my lighter outlet. So yeah, there's, uh, you know, I guess there may be a few safety concerns with it if you look at it that way. But overall, people are pretty happy with it. It's not intended to have shop vac level of suction. It's just to get minor dust, sand, dirt, Cheerios, what have you. So the, it comes with an extra filter, comes with a little brush, comes with a hose attachment. You don't have to use that. And it's not crazy loud. I did learn I had to have my vehicle on to have this working, of course. So I have some WeatherTech mats in here. Yeah, it's getting the, the dirt up pretty good. Honestly, doing better than I thought. I, I just kind of figured it would move it around, but again, when you have 250 something thousand reviews and they're mostly positive, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. Yeah, it works all right. Said I would, uh, I would probably buy this again. You know, I think the the build quality is definitely cheap. Not not uh, surprising considering the thirty dollar price point. But hey, if it lasts a year, yeah, that's that's money well spent to have a nice clean car. I said I, what I've been doing is I've been vacuuming my floors in this vehicle when I'm going to pick my daughter up. That's what I've been using this for now. So you can vacuum the seats. These are cloth, kind of a mesh type of seat in these, and they hold on to all these little pebbles and particles and pieces of dust. The carpet's very similar to Toyota carpet of this era. It's kind of Velcro-y feeling, so everything sticks in it. I absolutely hate it. But this is getting it up. It is working. It's got a decent amount of suction for $30. I'm, I'm thoroughly surprised. Back seat, that's where the dog is. You can see it got most of it. I was just doing the one side here. And vacuuming the back. And of course I ended up vacuuming the remainder as well on that left rear side. Yeah, it shows you what it sucked up. So let's see what about 15 minutes or so, 10 to 15 minutes worth of work got. Look at all that. Lots of the fine sand and dust that we have out here. Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm, I have nothing bad to say about it. I said it, it works as advertised, works well, especially for the price point. I would recommend it. Well done. As I said, don't expect shop vac levels of suction power with it, but it does work well. Next up is this Just Top windshield cleaning tool. It has 3,000 reviews. $10 is what I paid for it comes in different colors has a telescoping handle and Where this really comes in handy in our experience is something like the Lamborghini Gallardo or Huracan front windscreen Where it's extremely hard to get your hand down in the corners something like this works great The most critical reviews say that it's made of cheap plastic. It's poor build quality or it just smears the product around So let's find out comes with three bonnets and it is it is very thin plastic but again if you're using heavy pressure this probably isn't the tool for it if you're trying to get like the thick film off of the windscreen you probably want to do a wipe with a microfiber first so here's here's my uh, my back windows where the dog hangs her head out the windows of course there's slobber all over the side of the window you can start here but the way that this Nissan cube the edges of the windows are designed. There's actually a little bit behind the seal, so you'd obviously have to roll the window down otherwise to clean it. And this seems to do the job okay. So I'm cleaning the outside of this window just so it's easier to show you how well it did. And it, it did a good job. You know, I don't, I don't have any complaints there, but the key, the key selling point of this product is that it's easier to get in down in the edges. So we'll try the windscreen here. This, this vehicle, even though it is pretty upright, it does have a couple little edges that's hard to get to. 
So this is not a tinted windscreen. This is just the regular factory windscreen. It's pretty beat up. This car has 200,000 miles on it. You can see down at the bottom there, that's uh, sort of tough to get into and this will get it no problem. Yeah, I mean, really it, it works well, for, especially for the price paid, no complaints. You can't resist having to throw a little Malco Epic Revive New on the trim. And before we take it outside to wash it, using some Chemical Guys new car smell, 999, 19,100 reviews, mostly five star. The reviews say some people absolutely hate the smell, love it or hate it. I think it smells very similar to like a leather type of smell. You may disagree. Overall, majority of people love it. It is a very strong scent. So I like to apply it behind the back seats or under floor mats, something like that, where it's just enough to give you a scent, but not overpower everything. And it lasts, you know, three, four, five days, something like that. That's about my experience with it. Next up is Anilan Mini Pet Hair Removal Tool. It has almost 11,000 reviews. Almost all of them are five star. Said so the five star reviews, something like 75% of them are five star. Different prices for different colors. Ours is green and they don't even sell the green one anymore. Not, not really sure. Overall, the reviews, very positive. The negative reviews seem to be that the rubber around the edge starts to break away as it ages, which again, it's a rubber product. No surprises there. I, so I have, a, I have a black dog that doesn't shed and I have a black interior. So there's very little pet hair that's in mine. So I went and looked at a rug that has lots of pet hair at someone else's house. And you can see that it does work very well as intended, five out of five. And it works on the source of the hair too. <laughs> Two Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. They don't seem to mind it. Next up is Rain-X Foaming Car Wash, 100 fluid ounces or about three liters. It has 3,100 ratings. Most of them are five stars. I've played with this in other videos as, as you've recently seen. And you know, it, uh, I like that it, the fact that it doesn't have any added waxes. You can buy this in some of your local big box stores or auto parts places. They do sell it for the price paid with shipping, $6, two day Amazon prime shipping. You know, you, you really can't beat it. So let's see how it works. We're going to put it in our foam cannon and wash our cube with it, see how it looks. So as a bonus, we're gonna use a brand new auto fiber barrel blade wheel brush. I've never used this before. Picked it up, seen some others use it. Curious to see how it's gonna do. We have some mesh spoke wheels on our Nissan Cube. Very difficult to clean properly. I also use wheelies, wheel brushes. I have several different sizes of those. Those are typically what we use. So we'll see how this compares. So for the wash bucket, it says you can put about one ounce to four or five gallons, 20 liters of water. So looks close enough and it foams up very well. Works as advertised there. Gonna use Iron X for the wheels and I'm using Wesley's Bleach White for the tire cleaner and a stiff brush. You can see as the Iron X works, it turns the iron particles purple. So I do have a separate brush that I use for fender liners as to not scratch the wheels. You don't wanna combine the two of those. So the auto fiber barrel blade, for wheels like this, it's really a bit too big. It is nice and flexible where it's, it's flexible but it st stays stiff but it just, it really doesn't get in those fine, hard to reach places. Something like this would probably be better suited for like large five or six spoke wheels where you can get to the backside of the wheel to clean it. But yeah, I, uh, not a fan for these particular style of wheels. I would probably stick with the Woolies wheel brush, Wheelies uh, wheel brushes that I currently use. All right, on to the wash. I'm going to clean the rest of the wheels and we'll foam everything down, let it sit and soak for a little bit, have it in our foam cannon. Then we'll rinse it off, we'll foam it again, 
We'll wash it with our Australian sheep's wool wash mitt, then rinse and dry everything. So I'd say overall that soap works very well. It doesn't leave any residue behind. You can see here, you can see the pearl in the paint very nicely. Don't see any residue left behind. I know it is a white car, so it's not gonna show up as well as like a black car on camera. But overall, pretty happy with that soap, especially for the price paid. Doesn't seem to affect the ceramic coating. This car is coated with Nano Bond ceramic coating, cheap Chinese coating, it still beads and it's quite hydrophobic. So the other products reviewed, everything seems to deliver. It works, works as advertised, except for probably that gel. I would skip that, but the, especially the vacuum, that works fantastic. The window cleaner, yeah, it works. Long-term professional environment, it's probably not gonna last just because it's pretty thin. New car smell, works great. That's a personal preference, but I think mo overall, most people are gonna like that. The hairbrush removal works fantastic and the soap does. So I hope if nothing else, it's informative, but as always, if you guys would like to purchase any of those products, link is in the description below. That is how this channel makes money, it remains unsponsored. Nobody to keep happy, no bias, nothing like that. Real reviews, real facts, just telling you what it is, trying to skip and avoid all the trash out there. So thanks again for watching guys, and we will see you soon.